Recently, Tel Aviv has started to be known food-wise for more than just falafel. We're in Tapa Sechat, the latest restaurant opened by well-known Israeli chef Yonatan Rochefeld. Food and Wine's Go List 100 recently ranked Rochefeld as the top rising star chef in the world, describing Tapa Sechat as wildly popular, mixing the best Israeli and Spanish ingredients. I decided to make like a menu of uh, like many, many, many kinds of tapas and uh, to adjust the taste to Israeli uh, kind of uh, cooking. Yes, like France, Israel's on the Mediterranean, but it's not European haute cuisine by any means. Saltiness, we discover it every time that we are going abroad to France, especially, that we are much, 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 much more spicy, much more salty. Israel's unique multiculturalism is what helps create this fusion of different spices and styles. We have a lot of uh, Yemenis in Israel, we have a lot of Moroccan, Algerian. Our palate is very, very spicy. If you like, uh, like it modest, go to Europe. Rochefeld is putting down a bed of spicy avocado and onion salad, adding a beef carpaccio, and garnishing with cilantro. Rochefeld likes creating far from the centers of the culinary arts. And everything is new, so we, we are not under pressure. We do doesn't have the Michelin and the New York Times. After more than 20 years of cooking, all the hard work is recently paying off for Rochefeld and for Israeli gastronomy. We just get signs for the last five, six years that we are besetter in Hebrew, we are all right. Rochefeld's first hit restaurant, Herbert Samuel, is also visually distinctive and looks out on the Mediterranean. Herbert Samuel is the first Tel Avivian a new world style uh, Mediterranean that I make. It's mean that the design, the attitude to food, we planned it like two and a half years and we took no, uh, we took big risk and no limits to, the, to take that and uh, I'm happy that uh, it succeeded. Other chefs on the Tel Aviv scene include longtime celebrity Chaim Cohn, who also has a cooking show, and Omer Miller, who reigns at the dining hall, modeled after a kibbutz cafeteria. The day I was at Tapa Sechat, they plied me with both a non-alcoholic lemon sangria full of cinnamon, then a classic wine sangria. My favorite dish was a spicy sautéed squid, mixed with a variety of fresh Middle Eastern greens. Wow! Find out about other exciting stories at Israel21c.org.